Hey guys, just a real quick video today to share with you some new shooting glasses that I just bought from Amazon. A uh, quick backstory, these are my old ones that I've had for several years. And I don't know, I think I got them from Walmart or somewhere like that. Uh, they were probably less than $10 or right around that price. I don't remember exactly what they were, but... And then I always keep a second set in here in case I take a shooter with me uh, that doesn't have any glasses or whatever. Uh, again, probably from Walmart, but I don't remember. They're like Smith & Wesson branded. Um, I think they were, again, maybe in the $10 range or so. But I'm going to pull the new ones out and show you what they are here. So the new ones that I bought are from Walker's. And they're called the Icon Forge. And they come in multiple colors. I know that they have the clear, which is what I chose. I know they have amber, they have smoke, and maybe one other color. I was thinking that there's four colors total, but I chose clear. Uh, I've had these Walker's Razor or the Slims or whatever, the electronic hearing protection for several years. I don't know if I ever did a video on these or not, but I, I bet I've had these for, I'd say at least four years. I paid like 30 bucks on Amazon for them. And I don't know if I've ever changed the batteries in them. And I go to the range at least once or twice a month. Uh, highly, highly recommend these. So when I started looking, I wanted something that was kind of affordable. Um, and I knew that was going to be of good quality. So the backstory is I've worn these for years and they've been just fine. Uh, they kind of do what I need them to do. Well, a few months ago, I was on a video, and I think it was with my little LCP2, the 22, and I had these glasses on, and I was trying to basically hold my phone in my right hand, had the gun in my left hand, so I was only shooting one-handed, and obviously the ejection port is going to be coming this way, and... On one of the shots, I had something. I don't know if it was some carbon built up on the edge. I don't know if it was a piece of metal. I don't know what it was, but something flew up and flew through here or under here because these actually don't touch my cheeks. There's like a big gap. But either way, it came through my left side here and hit me directly in my left eye. And immediately like I felt the pain and then I couldn't fl I didn't have anything to flush it out and I'm trying not to rub it even though it hurts and so it was just one of those weird things that I was shooting one-handed which I don't normally do you know typically if you're using both hands it's the ejection is going away from you um, but just that particular day it's just how I was holding the the gun and everything it just something got through there so I thought, you know what, I'd like to try to find something that was a little more solid that offered like a full protection against my cheeks and against there. So these were like right around $22 um, on Amazon. And we'll get them out of the package and I'll show you what all comes in it here. But obviously you get the glasses themselves and then they're like on this little Velcro thing here. So we'll look at them in a minute. And then it uh, looks like this pops open. So there's some specs on them. It uh, looks like it's a flexible type of rubber. Um, back there are some holes for like a lanyard. Obviously they're impact resistant, foam nose pad. So, and then a real high quality case. I don't know if I'll use that, uh, but it is a nice case. I don't know if anything's in it or not, we'll see. Uh, cleaning cloth. So, fairly nice on that. It is a nice case. Um, but yeah, let's look at the glasses themselves here. So this is what I was really looking for, was something that was kind of wide here but because of the angle of the lens, it still gives you your full peripheral. So I think that should work out pretty well. Uh, there are the lanyard holes. But just overall, they feel, feel pretty good. It feels like really good quality stuff here. 
Um, I'm gonna try them on here off camera real quick and see how they fit and then I'll be right back. Well, again, I bought these for 20 some dollars. Um, it's not sponsored. They did not send these to me. Um, I can say that these fit unbelievably well. So much better than what these are. Again, I haven't shot with them yet, but um, this up here completely touches right up against your eyebrows. And again, I know everybody's faces are slightly different and stuff like that. This completely touches my cheeks all the way around. Along here, this completely touches my temple. Like the stems go right up against your, your temples, but it's not uncomfortable at all. This completely covers the, uh, the side area at the side of my eye. Um, this is exactly what I was looking for. Um, I think these are gonna fit the bill perfectly for going to the range and stuff. And I, I just think that there's such a, a much better quality glasses than what these ones here for $10 were. Again, they did fine until they didn't. So um, but yeah, this just is a quick quick video, just kind of sharing with you guys that you know, I bought some new glasses and uh, there will be a link down in the video description if anybody's wanting to pick them up. Their inventory is kind of funny. Like when I bought them, it only showed like three in stock. Um, and then the next day it showed like 20. And then like a few days later, it showed like five. So I don't know if they just sell that fast or if they if they kind of mess with their inventory or what exactly. But um, the day I'm recording this, it shows 17 of them in stock. They do have them on uh, Walker's website as well. I'll leave a link probably to them too. And you can, I don't know if there's any more um, description of what I've given, but uh, you can check them out and uh, see prices and stuff like that. Uh, Walker's website was more expensive than what Amazon was though. So... Yeah, I just want to share my new glasses with you, and um, and then like I said, I've, I've had these earmuffs for a long time, and they've been really, really good, so I highly recommend them. I, I can definitely say that those are good quality stuff, so, but all right, that's it on this one. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.